Hey everybody, it's Karen. I'm sharing a mini album today. Um, I made it with a collection called Lovely Day by Dear Lizzie. I used about a half of a 12 by 12 um, 48 sheet collection pad. Um, my album is six and three quarters by six and three quarters. It's made of chipboard and black cardstock. I have six six pocket pages in it. Um, on the front cover, um, of course it's paper from the collection. I have two pieces of lace here. They're both pretty sheer. So I have the white underneath with a scallop edge with some blue navy blue over it. And I have a, a line of adhesive pearls. This is a frame I cut out from the Elegant Edges um, Cricut cartridge. I cut out several of them and used them throughout the album. Um, this is a die from Spellbinders. It's just called Reef Die, and you can find it at Hobby Lobby and Michaels right now. I added some flowers that I had here on, on top of the reef with some small cutouts from that same um, Spellbinders die set. Um, this is just a 3x4 from the collection pack that I chose to use on the cover. Um, the side looks like this. The spine is about two and a half inches across. I have three eighths of an inch um, between my, um, my pages. I added some ribbon here with a little brad. And this is the back. It's just like the front. So when you open it up, on the front cover I have a magnetic flap and there's just places for photos right here and here. It just closes. My first page has a pocket. Um, these little sentiments that are in the album is from a page in the um, 12 by 12 pack that looked like this and all I did was cut around them. Um, I backed them on black cardstock. And then I just put them on these little frames that I cut out in various sizes. Inside my pocket, I have a cutout. They're all on black cardstock, and I use some white um, Versa, like chalk like ink, just um, throughout the album, and I'll show you them. I took a gold paper clip and I used a one inch circle punch here, and I made a couple of these for my album. Here's a fox that I found in the paper and some flowers. And here are um, a couple places for photos, more um, white chalk inking. I think they'll be cute if you use a white gel pen to journal in here. And I use these tabs. It was a Teresa Collins tab punch. Um, each page has each page, pocket page has a, a pullout, and they're six by six. I used a Stampin' Up tab punch and used my heart punch to decorate the tabs. And on the back, here's some stamping. So on my next page, there's just a place for a photo here with another cutout from that 12 by 12 sheet saying hello. And the, page, the photos can just tuck behind there. On this page over here, it's a magnetic flap with like a two by three cutout that I backed on a couple sheets of paper. I used a, um, a cloud corner punch here and so this just goes up a place for a photo and I two more here. A pullout with some like fun swirls and down here's a stamp that says have a beautiful day. I love that. Um, this album is going for one of my daughter's friends who's having a little bit of a difficult time now. She's mourning the loss of her young brother. And my daughter thought she would she would love a place to put some fun photos. And she said, use bright, vibrant colors. And that the girl actually is crafty. I don't know if she's into paper crafts, but she does like crafts. Um, here, um, I love your face. How fun and young is that? With a little cutout. And this is like a sideways waterfall that's magnetized, so it goes out, and again, and again, and there's more places for photos. And on the opposite page, I use the same papers, and more place for a photo. I put a belly band here, and here is a 4x6 photo mat. Here's part of that Spellbinders die with an enamel dot. Some more of another place to journal. I love white ink. And on here, there's just some cutouts, just some fun pieces for the collection. Here is another um, 
another um, paper clip that I decorated with birds cut out from the collection and on the back just a single bird. Um, this is magnetized here. Another pull out with some butterflies. Um, these, the center spread here, um, these are just cutouts with enamel dots. This is an AliExpress bicycle die that I ordered. Um, I put the same tabs here and they just open for two more places. And let me tell you about AliExpress. When I ordered from them, I just got this bad feeling about entering my credit card there. And a week later, my card was compromised. It was being used in a vending machine. I don't know, across the country. And of course my bank caught it, but I swear um, my card was compromised on their site. So just be careful. Maybe some of you guys can share your experiences if that happened to you. Um, on this page is a side pocket that I put a notch in. Two little frames that I decorated with cutouts from the paper. And in this um, pocket I have a place for two more photos. This is also magnetized right here. And that slides in here. And then on the opposite page, this is magnetized. It's magnetized from here to here. This is a small waterfall with just the um, two by threes or three by fours from the collection. Just a fun, bright, bright place to um, write and put pictures. And here's a pullout with some flowers. And on this page, I made a um, corner pocket. This is so cute. You're so cool, I'm not even mad. Um, this is like a little wallet that I made for photos. It's magnetized. I used the cloud corner punch here. So this opens and there's a place for, let's see, four photos there. On the back side there would be places for three photos. Um, this is just, I used a two inch circle punch and backed it with a two and a quarter inch scalloped um, circle punch to decorate. Um, just another pocket over here that I made a notch in with two more photo mats. And I did a little bit of stamping with them. And then the pullout looks like this, and I got some white stars. On the back, I used a different heart punch. It's just some floral paper. I thought it looked pretty, punched out like hearts. And my last page, there is, I used a cloud punch and a heart punch and a cutout from the collection that I, matched, that I notched out like a banner and put a heart. And um, the photo looks really pretty, slid right in there. And my back cover is just another magnetic flap for, for places for photos here, here, and here. So that's my album I made with the Lovely Day collection by Dear Lizzie American Crafts. Thanks for watching my videos and leaving all your kind comments. See you later.